so I've seen these swords literally all over the internet. You know, those tactical master swords with all the kinds of cool designs and colors that you could get them in. They were always pretty affordable and considering I love swords and how expensive swords can be, like katanas can go up past thousands of dollars. I was, I was definitely intrigued, but I really wanted to know if it was actually worth it. And I'm sure I wasn't the only one asking that same question. But now I've got this dope sword right here and we can put that question to rest and see if it's actually worth money or if it's just crap. What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing a beardist and a superhero hat and welcome to the modern ninja specifically welcome to my weapon log series. The series where I go through some of the weapons I own and uh, want to own and give you guys an honest review to see if you guys want to get them. And for those of you just here who are wanting the link, don't worry, I got you. I'm not going to make you wait to the end. It's down in the description for you there. So if that's all you're here for, feel free to drop a like because I helped you out. But there you go. Now, obviously I can't promise that they will have this specific design in stock, but they usually have a several different versions. So I'm sure you can find one that you vibe with yourself. But I do end up playing Fruit Ninja with this bad boy. So you can also stick around for that. That's up to you. But I've talked long enough. Let's get into the actual review. But first off, let's see what you're actually going to get for your money's worth. You're going to get a relatively sharp 440 stainless steel machete sword combo honestly it could be considered either a machete or a sword but for this video we're gonna call them swords because you know it's the modern and ninja and why not it will also come with a couple different throwing knives that pair well with the design of the sword like obviously the theme here is multicolored, and both of these things are you know multicolored. and so if you got a red sword you would get red throwing knives and if you got a blue sword you would get blue throwing knives i just you know don't have that however this color coding feature is really good for if you're wanting a specific aesthetic or color scheme maybe you're wanting just to have a cool uh red sword because you like red and everything you own is red and so you stick with red or you just want like a multicolor thing to hang up in your wall like uh, this right here and so that also uh, works for whatever aesthetic you're going for. Now I know I probably lost a couple of you at 440 stainless steel and what that actually means. Don't worry I'll give you the long and short of it. The majority of sword manufacturers today use 440 stainless steel. It is quick and easy for manufacturers to actually process. It's cheap to produce, low maintenance, so it's great for beginners, and it's excellent for Renaissance festivals, cosplay events, and just cutting up fruit or something in your backyard for fun. You know, the things you would normally use swords for in 2023. Because we're no longer killing people with our swords. Let me say it again. We're no longer fighting duels and killing people with our swords. But when compared to a more high class, high carbon steel, 440 is definitely more brittle and more difficult to get to hold a super sharp edge. It's not that great at holding it. So obviously just be careful bringing to those, you know, pristine high carbon sword parties. They might make fun of you or, you know, go have fun with the lesser sword you got for not a fortune and that's obviously what I'm gonna do at the end of this video. But now let's step away from the super niche details and tell you what I truly think about it. I honestly am a huge fan of these types of swords and knives. Both are fairly lightweight and really well balanced considering I like just waking up and throwing a ninja a star or a knife into my target literally every morning that's how i start my mornings half the time it's great for that both the swords and the knives are fairly well balanced as well and not super heavy that it's like you know annoying to wield but heavy enough that it will actually stick into whatever target you're throwing it at. And the handle is actually wrapped in various things depending on the design you get. But the one I have, the both the sword and the knife are wrapped in paracord. For me, this is a benefit because I love the texture it gives and the way it feels in my hand. And if you disagree, that's okay. It's super simple to unwrap and redo it with whatever wrap you specifically prefer. Now let's get into testing. As far as these throwing knives go, I actually really like them. They're fairly well balanced. The tip is good enough to definitely stick pretty much any time you're on target. I wasn't on target on that second one, but <clears throat> that first one I was because it's stuck. And so I'm gonna match. As long as you know what you're doing when you're throwing them, knowing well, like whether or not you need to throw from the blade or the handle, as far as your distance and rotation, you flick your wrist. So um, I'm throwing at this thing, right? It bounced between my legs 
into the wood underneath me, which is why, let me just say this for the for all, all people watching right now, be careful. Uh, throwing knives is dangerous, even if you know what you're doing. So it just be careful. <laughs> But it does mean it'll stick into actual like wood and stuff like that. So that's a plus, honestly, for any knife. And it didn't bend or warp at all, which is kind of surprising, which honestly adds in a plus to this type of weapon. So yeah, all in all, the knives, super dope. And I can't wait to do the Fruit Ninja to test out the sword. Let's get this going. Oh, look at that. Hit the, hit the, oh. Uh. That hit all the way through. You can't really see it on this end, but I heard it hit the metal. Like that is wild. So fruit has been officially acquired. And so let's chop some stuff and see how, how smooth it is. All right, so let's see how well our sword and our darts stick into some fruit. First, the dart, because I feel like that's gonna be a lot easier when it's a full dart. Ooh, okay. So as far as the knife goes, it's stuck pretty deep, it's pretty well. The first slash just kind of nicks the side right there, just like so, it's nothing super special. And then the, no the other one stuck pretty, like pretty deep in the uh, the vegetable here. Uh, and so I'm, I'm happy with the knife. The knife did pretty well. And let's see how well the sword does as well. So obviously he was able to slice it pretty easily. It didn't have any trouble cutting all the way through this vegetable. Now, because of the base I have it on, it actually tilted while it was uh, being sliced. And so it didn't have the perfect slice. And I don't think this blade would ever have a, a perfect clean cut anyway. So I don't think you're ever looking for a clean cut. But if you're wanting it to just cut something, it definitely does that. Like if you really need a clean cut, you're gonna need a more high quality blade and a sharper blade, especially so you're not gonna get the cleanest cut from this blade but you will have a good time cutting up some fruit in your backyard so there's that now I really want to see if I could just like slice the apple in the air so I have a couple apples here just just to see if I can toss and slice as they come up I'm gonna try a couple across and then I'm gonna try a couple up to see which ones uh, I can manage to do here we go <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Did you see, hear the sound? Man. And we have a very nice cut right there. Again, it's not the cleanest. It's going to have missing edges. It's not going to be a super clean cut. But that's not what you're looking at this knife for. You're looking at this knife to do Fruit Ninja stuff. And I'm doing Fruit Ninja stuff. So let's try it again. And there we go. Now, is this the um, the best sword in the world? No. Is this gonna have the perfect clean cut every time? No. But it's super fun to use, and um, <laughs> I mean, I'm having fun cutting some fruit in my backyard. Like that's all I'm doing. And so, if you wanted to have fun cutting fruit or just you know doing normal throwing knives stuff and sword stuff with your uh, with your <laughs> machete sword. This is definitely a good buy for you guys. And it's pretty cheap, so why not? Like I said in the beginning of this video, the links are down in the description below for those of you who want to purchase one of those types of swords. They're super cool, and so if you really want them, go ahead and grab one. But remember, always be safe and be careful when practicing with sharp objects, even though they're not, you know, the sharpest things in the world, they're still sharp enough to cut you and damage you. So be careful. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about my throwing kunai, or this other one about my CSGO karambit. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.